Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you my top tips to start waking up earlier in the morning and fitting more into your day. If you're new to my channel, if this is perhaps the first or second video that you're watching, my name is Rachel Ellis, it's nice to meet you and I'd love to get to know more about you guys, so leave me a comment letting me know where in the world you're from. Some of you may know that I am a bit of an early bird, if I wake up at 6am I feel like half my day is already gone. Now you don't have to wake up as early as I do, but I will take you through the way that I managed to go from sleeping in all the time to being able to wake up very early and fitting a lot more into my day. If you do enjoy this video, if you find at least one part of it useful, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and I'll take you through my tips now. To start waking up earlier in the morning, there are a few little habits that you're going to want to get into at night so that you're able to get up nice and early. So after I've had my shower and I'm ready to start going to bed, I often jump back on my computer and finish off some work that I didn't get done during the day. Now what we want to be doing is going to bed about 15 to 30 minutes earlier than we usually would and setting an alarm as well. So I'm setting my alarm for 5.30 for yourself each week, decrease that by 15 minutes, so 15 minutes earlier each week. Now you're going to want to get away from electronics before you go to bed, so particularly blue light from electronics can keep the pineal gland from releasing melatonin, so that stops your brain from getting sleepy. So you could read a book or just get away from a screen. What I like to do is do my skincare routine, brush my hair, and then brush my teeth. So I like to spend about 15 minutes away from the screens and electronics before I go to sleep. If you find that you're someone who often switches their alarms off or needs several alarms to wake up, plug your phone in somewhere that is not next to your bed, like across the room so that you do have to actually actively get out of bed and switch it off. When it does come to the morning, you're not snoozing your alarm, you don't have a second alarm, so you have to jump out of bed when your first alarm goes off. I find it's always really good to stretch when you wake up and to also drink some water. I would rather have water than coffee or any stimulants or anything like that. Try to let the light in, let some fresh air in, this is going to help wake you up a little bit. It's really, really important to also make yourself a breakfast as well. I know so many people who skip breakfast don't skip breakfast. Try to have your breakfast within an hour of waking up so that you can have some energy and you can get your metabolism going. While I'm eating my breakfast, I really like to sit down and write my list of things to do for the day. I find that this makes me more productive. You can organize your thoughts, get everything out onto a piece of paper, or you can even put this list in your phone, and that way you know exactly what has to be done. Now you're gonna take about five to 10 minutes for yourself, and you could either do something like a skin treatment, have a bath with Epsom salts, or what I like to do is just some moisturizer. You could even go for a walk, just take a little bit of time for yourself to relax before you begin your day. Let me know if you're going to start trying to wake up a bit earlier after seeing this video. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!